Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 13 power m equals 13. We are solving for all values of m that satisfies this equation. So, this is what we are going to do. This is negative 13, and we are going to express it as product of negative 1 and 13. So, what we are going to have to be this is negative 1 times 13 raised to the power of n equals 30. Now, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this simply equals a power c times b power c. So what we are going to do will be to apply this identity right here. So we simply have negative 1 power n times 13 power n, and this equals 13. So from here, what we are going to do Will be to replace this negative form. So considering this identity, if you have e power i times pi plus 1 is equal 0, meaning e power i times pi equals negative 1. So let's try and replace this negative one here with e power i times pi. So we have e power i times pi raised to the power of n times 13 raised to the power of n equals 13. So from here, the next thing we are going to do will be to consider this identity. Remember, if you have a power x to the power of y, this equals a power x times y. So what we are going to do will be to apply this identity right here. So we multiply this exponent. We have e power i times pi times n times 13 power n equals 13. So right now, we can apply natural log. Natural log of e power i times pi times n times 13 power n equals natural log 13. So from here, the next thing we are going to do will be to apply the logarithm property identity. We have natural log of a times b. This equals natural log a plus natural log b. So from here, what we can do will be to know that this is our a and this is our b. So natural log of a plus natural log of b will simply mean we have natural log of a power i times pi x plus natural log of this is 13 to the power of n, and this equals natural log of 13. So from here, remember, if you have natural log of a power b, this equals b times natural log a. So we apply this property right here. That means we are simply going to have i times pi n times natural log of e plus n times natural log of 13 equals natural log of 13. So from here, what we are going to do will be, remember that this cancel this because natural log of e is 1. So what you are simply going to have will simply be i times pi n times 1 plus n times natural log 13 equals natural log 13. So i times pi n times 1 is i times pi n plus n times natural log 13 equals natural log 13. So we have n here, we have n here. So let's factor that out. So when once we do that, we have n times this divide this, I have i times pi plus this divide this, I have natural log 13. And from here, what we simply have is equals natural log 13. So let's isolate n. So for us to achieve that, we divide this by i times pi plus natural log 13. 
we divide this by i times pi plus natural log theta. So, right now, this eliminate this, and we simply have n equals we have natural log theta divided by i times pi plus natural log theta. So this is our answer for n. So let's also solve it using a different approach. So we simply have negative 13 to the power of n equals 13. And we are solving for the value of n. So what we are going to do will be to express this as put out of this. So we have negative 1 times 13 power n equals 13. So we also distribute this n to each of the terms here. So what we are going to have will be negative 1 power n times we have 13 power n. And this equals 13. So from here, we consider the fact that negative 1, we are going to replace it. So if you have square root of negative 1, this equals iota, that is the imaginary number i. So, if you take the squares of this, what you are going to get will be this, you eliminate this. So you have negative 1 equals i power 2. And since we have negative 1 here, we are going to replace it with i power 2. We have i power 2 which to the power of n times 13 power n equals 13. So right now, I can simply multiply this exponent. Remember, if you have a power x to the power of y, simply equals a power x times y. So when once you multiply this, you have i power 2n times 13 power n equals 13. So from here, I can apply natural log. I can apply natural log. I have natural log of i power 2n times 13 power n equals natural log 13. So, remember the same identity, natural log of a times b equals natural log a plus natural log b. So, applying that here, we simply have natural log, this is i power 2n plus natural log 13 power n and this equals natural log 13. So if you have natural log a power p this equals p times natural log a. So that means applying that here we have 2n times natural log i plus n times natural log 13 equals natural log 13. So right here, if you multiply this out, you have natural log 1. So you have 2n times natural log 1 or 2n times natural log i, that is not 
one that is I I believe so that is it plus two n times natural log i plus n times natural log 13 equals natural log 13. So let's factor out n. We have n times is 2 times natural log i plus natural log 13. And this equals natural log 13. So from here, we can factor out this n and rewrite this by the same thing here, which is 2 times natural log i plus natural log 13. I also divide this by the same thing, 2 times natural log i plus natural log 13. So right now, this cancel this. So what I'm going to have will be n equals we have natural log 30 we vary by 2 times natural log i plus natural log 30 so this also becomes our answer another variation of answer because here we have 2 times natural log i while in this other part we have i times pi and 2 times natural log i equals i times pi. So guys, this is it. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you and see you again in our next video.